Welcome back to my channel. So I posted my client on my Instagram page. You guys wanted to know if there was a full tutorial. So I decided to hit her back up and ask her to come back for us to redo this look. And I redid the look. Um, but yeah, let me give you let me give you a backstory of the whole situation because like I just love to give a good backstory. So I always text my clients before their appointments, like uh ask them to send me a picture or to you know describe what they're wearing. Um, and you know, the, the type of vibe or look that they're going for. Oh, so she sent me a picture of her outfit, looked at the outfit, and I'm like, okay, boom. Now, when she comes, she always gets a brown smoky eye, the, tr the trendy smoky eye where the brown is really close to your skin tone. So right? she sent me the outfit. I'm like, okay, I know exactly what look I want to do. We're still going to do a smoky eye because that's what she's comfortable with, but we're going to make it a little bit more edgy. So I find that doing this kind of helps me stay creative. I can create a creative look based on the boundaries of where my client wants to go with their makeup. Going in with the Benefit Brow Pencil in shade 4. For the original look, I use the L'Oreal Pro Stylist Pencil in Dark Brunette. So yeah, we're just going to outline her eyebrows. Um, and I'm going to keep them as straight as possible because she, her brows are microbladed more straight with a slight arch. One brow is slightly fuller than the other, so I'm going to fill them in, fill them in as I usually would. And when I go to conceal, I already know that I'm going to have to thin the right one out and round it out a bit more. No big deal. Before I go in to conceal, I'm going to go in with a little bit of eyelash glue and just brush those hairs into place so that nothing is in my way while I'm concealing. Next thing I do is I take some Tarte concealers and I mix me a custom color because I'm running out of my shades. So I just mixed a color up. It's about two shades lighter than her. And I picked up my Shop Miss A uh, concealer brush. And this is the E. 122 I believe and I am just going to shape her brows You guys, I have definitely reverted back to like those amateur days where for the most part, most of us would like connect our lines when we was doing our brows, like to make sure that, you know, everything was straight. I feel like a lot of people like we did that. I've kind of reverted back to that and I really don't know why, but I'm here and like it's just where I'm at. <laughs> I'm just back to connect. It just happened one day. Like one day I got up to do makeup and next thing you know, I was I was connecting my lines. But it's I like it. It it helps me really get the brows um on the same level, which helps them look even more even. All I did was blend out her concealer and put my Helen E base on her eyes. The next step is going in with a cream foundation. It works chef's kiss for smoky eyes this is like an old school trick i'm kind of trying to go back to my ways of um finding multi-purpose multi-purpose in, in in one item so yeah i'm gonna be using so yeah i'm gonna be using the foundation as a base um the difference in this application and the original look is i used less cream foundation so i put a little bit on because i wanted this smoky eyes to be a little bit more uh intense <laughs> so yeah if you want it to be you know more on the subtle sexy um then you would go with more of a uh a lighter a lighter uh layer of that cream foundation not so sheer like you don't want to go sheer but like that semi sheer you know um, so I'm going to go in with the Beauty by Melissa palette in collaboration with Planet Makeup with Yolando. 
unfortunately i didn't get to play in this palette this much when it first came out but we're here now girl we're here now so i'm gonna go in with this first brown shade on the lid So originally, um, the first time I did this look, I used that color at the top, That's Not Cute, as my second shade. But because I am now the captain of this look, because it's from my YouTube channel, <laughs> I decided to go in with a uh, glaze donuts, which is a bit deeper and uh, way more warm. The original brown is like a mid-tone brown, right? I love a good mid-tone brown. The color that I decided to go with is more of like an orange brick brown. So it's definitely going to bring um, more color to the look. So yeah, I'm going to go in my Morphe. I think it's the M433 brush, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm going to stamp that on. And But when I'm applying it, I'm making sure that I'm moving my hand downwards because I want to move it down into the brown. Then I'm just going to take a fluffy eyeshadow brush and blur out my edges. A lot of this is a game of back and forth. Sometimes you do it and you don't have to do much back and forth. And sometimes you have to work with the shadow a little bit more. So I'm going in to add more of that dark brown because we lost a, a good amount of it and we need to put it back, right? So I'm just going in, stamping that color, packing it back on to the eyelid. The next thing I do is go in to Afrobeat, which is this really rich uh like it's not burgundy but it's like a brick red like a really rich brick red and i'm gonna use that to kind of pop in between the really chocolate brown and that um like orangey uh brick orange shade right just to give us a nice gradient effect and it really always adds a really nice touch to a smoky eye child i remember when i first started doing makeup i could not do a smoky eye well, hopefully this video helps you out if you're struggling to get this look. I'm just going back in with my fluffy brush to blur out the edges. Going back in with the chocolate brown. Going back in with the burgundy. I'm just taking my time building up the look that I'm going for. And I did the other eye off camera because we followed the same exact steps. You know, our attention spans are a lot shorter now because of, you know, TikTok and Reels and stuff like that. So I'm trying to hold it down and, and shorten the videos, okay? All right, so we're done with the eyes. Lash glue is drying and I'm going to moisturize and prime her skin. By the lash, I recommend using a clear lash glue for looks like these because if black liner gets on it it's just like ugh, messes up your whole vibe so for foundation <laughs> i'm going in with three foundations y'all so for the center of her face and these are the exact same products that i used the original time but the the ratio in which i use them is a little bit different becca mocha and nars macau for the center of her face in this look, there is me using more product and me using a bit more of the Becca than of the NARS, which which is going to result in me having a, a slightly fuller coverage. For the bottom half of her face, it's a Smashbox foundation. Just me using more Becca for this look, it just makes the look more, um, a little bit more full coverage. I'm just going to spread the product out on her face. This is the e.l.f. brush. It, get, it spreads product out so good, girl. Like, that brush gets thin and it spreads. So, we're going to spread it all out. I spray her face with the NYX Matte Spray. Then, I'm going to blend it all out with the Instapop Cheek Brush. So, the Instapop Cheek Brush, right? Because it's smaller, it's a bit denser. So... This brush, you'll get a fuller coverage versus using 
the Instapot foundation brush. It's a bit bigger. It's a dense brush, but it's not as dense as the cheek brush, right? For the original look, I used the Instapot foundation brush because I didn't want the coverage to be so full. She's not a full coverage girl. You feel me? I'm doing the full coverage because the spirit led me to it. That's where the spirit led me. And I wanted to see how she would look with full coverage because I've been doing her makeup since last year and I've never seen it because I've never done it on her. She's not that type of girl. You have to know your girls, okay? So I'm like, well, let me see what it's given. And it was given. Um, Let's get back on topic, child. So we going in with the concealer. Don't do this mess. I don't never do this. Don't do this. Use a, found, use a brush. Don't use the applicator. I'm sorry. I popped myself for this, but... Y'all won't see it again. So I'm kind of getting into the, the motion to like not contour so dark. Like I, I like a contour cheek, but it's really, it's more so I like it to look really bronzed, you know, like really warm and like, like taunt, but not dark and contoured and like shadowy, right? Because a real contour gives shadow. Um, That's what a contour is. I'm not really trying to go for that. Like, I want definition and I want warmth. Um, so, yeah. I just have lightened up on a contour, especially in the jawline. Like, I don't know why we was contouring the jawline so crazy. Well, at least me. Let me speak for myself. Let me not say we. But, yeah. It's real harsh when a person turns their head and you see that darkness. I decided to add a little bit of Toffee, um, the Born This Way Concealer, above her lip. I don't always do this with her, but since this is a full coverage look, I decided, oh, why the hell not? <laughs> so, yeah, I put that around her mouth. So, yeah, I did that, and that concealer has sat for a good amount of time. I'm not going to spray any setting spray. I'm not going to spray any, any Morphe spray. Um... I have been released from the shackles of spraying Morphe spray every five seconds on my client's face. So I let that concealer dry down. I'm not going to spray anything and I'm going to blend her out. I'm going in with my Shop Miss A concealer brush. This brush is bomb. Do not, do not walk, run. Okay. I'm using this brush to blend out the concealed areas of her skin under the eyes as always i start on the outside and work my way up um i'm gonna go in with my beauty blender i'm always back and forth with the beauty blender like i fall out of love with it then i love it but i i, I do like rotating the brush and the sponge i feel like they work very well together so i'm gonna blend out her under eye then i'm gonna go back in with the brush i used to blend out her contour i didn't add any more product onto the brush i'm just gonna bring the cheek back i'm gonna bring her back because the concealer erased her a bit i'm gonna go back in with a little bit more of my contour shade which is the black opal foundation stick in ebony brown um and yeah i'm just going to add a little bit more to her cheek because i wanted her cheek to be a bit more defined so i'm just going in with my beauty blender and there's a very small amount of product on the blender because remember i only used it to um blend out the inner corner so i'm just taking whatever is left on that and kind of cleaning up my contour and then using my foundation brush to kind of blur that line because i don't want a straight line like i want you to see that it's a line there but it's blurry yeah <laughs> that was extra but yeah i want a blurred line but yeah you just want it to look blurry so it's a bit more softer now i'm going in with my tarp shape tape concealer in the shade 47s and i'm gonna use that on the inner parts of her under eye just so that we can get a slight brightness going now i'm going in with a mix of powders i do like to mix my powders um from different brands for different reasons but i'm going to go in first with my sponge to set then i'm going to go back in with more powder to bake um and i'm going to take some of that powder 
underneath her contour on her forehead uh, some on her brows down the bridge of her nose and on her chin as far as the powders i mixed i should buy a cup midnight banana powder i actually think yeah it was just those two i just mixed those two colors together for her cheek bronzer, I'm going into the Juvia's Place Zulu palette and I'm using that brown shade to bronze her up. All right, so once she is bronzed and contoured, I go in with my MAC Minivali Skin Finish in the shade Dark. And I'm going to use my Morphe powder brush. This brush has me in a choke hold. I freaking love this brush. Like, I need 10 more. So, yeah, I'm just using that to lightly press the MAC Minerali Skin Finish all over her face. For the original look, I only use this as her face setting powder. So, yeah. Um, that's what I use to set the face. But I use another powder after that. But we're going to get into that after that. It's kind of wipe away and press in that powder um that was left underneath her eyes so the next thing i did was uh go into her nose contour and i'm using this shade out of the warrior 2 palette by juvia's place literally my favorite 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 thing to contour the nose with it works with so many different shades of brown skin and I'm just going back in with my powder brush to make sure everything is blended. Going back in with my bronzer to make sure she's bronzed, honey, because I'm a crackhead for bronze. Now we're going to line her lips. So I'm actually going in with a foundation. I'm using the Black Opal Foundation Stick, which is the same stick that I used to contour her. For the original look, I used the foundation stick that I used on her eyelids. Alright, so now I'm going in with the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation Powder and I'm going to go over everything and set it once more. This really gives you like that smooth porcelain walking filtered look and it looks great in photographs and in pictures. The next thing I'm going to do is smoke out her waterline. I'm using Molasses Lip Liner Pencil from Sephora. Top notch. Like... You gotta get this in your kit. It's a lip liner, but I love it in the waterline. For the original look, I use a black liner. We're gonna add some gloss to her lips. I'm going to set my under eye. I use the Nikki Tutorials uh, Nima setting spray to set the under eyes. This is a setting spray, but it also has fixing spray properties, and I love what it does when I use it under the eyes. I can't explain it. The next thing I do is go into my Globe Academy Varsity Palette and I take that neon orange and I'm going to pack that into the inner corner, but I'm going to focus on the bottom inner corner. I don't want it too much on the top. Now I'm going to go in with this highlighter out of the Sephora Pro Contour Palette. It's just a peachy toned highlight and I'm going to place that onto the bridge of her nose. We're gonna add some blush. I'm using these two shades from the Warrior 2 palette. I put a little bit of blush on her forehead as well. I'm gonna spray her down with our Morphe Continuous Spray. Press that setting spray into the skin, of course. Melt that makeup together, girl. Then I'm going to take this Real Techniques setting brush and I'm going to use it to kind of lightly tap the highlighter onto the skin for a subtle highlight. For the original look, I kind of swirled the highlighter on. When you swirl the highlighter on, you get more of a significant level. Um, then we're just going to do top and bottom mascara. And this is the finished look. Doesn't she look like a doll? Right, you guys so you know i have the cell phone footage we have our in-studio lighting and then my favorite low light <sighs> because the makeup just looks so good and creamy like 
oh my god like i'm literally obsessed with this look like i just love it i'm so proud of this look ah tell me what you guys think this is definitely how i would do jada waiters makeup or carisha Ooh, Carisha would look so good in this look. Trina would look bomb in this look. Um, Gucci Man's wife would look fire in this look. I would do this look on JT. I would do this look on Doja Cat. I would do this look on SZA. I know that's a lot of different people, but yeah, I'm going to do a series of videos. Like if I had a celebrity client, how I would do their makeup. So this was my how I would do Jada Waiter's makeup. Yeah. But those other people, like the look would look bomb on it too. Monica, it would look really good on Monica. Mm. But yeah, if you have a celebrity who, you know, you want to do their makeup and you know how you would do their makeup, comment down below the celebrity whose makeup you want to do and comment down below, like what type of look you would do on them. All right, you guys, I love you guys so much. And it feels so good to be back on YouTube. Um, but yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.